Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm ID Explosive One, and we are starting the timer. Boom. 10 Minutes or Less. TNT. Yo. Would you ever be part of a medication medical trial? Like where they, you know, they'll give you money sometimes to like, whatever, sleep studies, test drugs, you know, whatever. I've thought about this. Um, I would 100% do it. Yeah. Would, but it depends on what you're testing, right? Oh, uh, yeah, obviously. So they're yeah. like, we're going to give you AIDS to see if we can cure it. No, yeah, right, I, okay. I'll probably be all right without AIDS. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I saw an article that <laughs> this man is a 26-year-old guy, volunteered for a study where they gave a gave group of people dysentery okay where they're trying to get a vaccine for dysentery okay and 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 like the quote he has is it's the most brutally sick i've ever been and they said that they gave them dysentery smoothies to it was like it was like a shot that had the dysentery bacteria in it yeah and they would drink it and then he said that it was like as sick as he'd ever been, but he said he, he got paid seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and he would do it again because it, although no, no matter how bad it was, he knew that like it really was for the good of like humanity because he he said at one point he started crying because he realized that there are kids in third world countries that get this sick daily and yeah. can't and just die because they can't keep fluids in them or okay. whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's kind of sweet, you know, whatever. But well, I mean, but he wouldn't have done it for free. Right? Oh, I doubt it, right? Oh, okay. I mean, he got okay. paid seven k, yo. Yeah, so he gets oh, to keep yeah. what, like four thousand of that after oh, tax, yeah. yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought it was for the good of humanity, right? Right. But you exactly. wouldn't have done it for free, though, right? Right. Oh, okay. So okay. I don't know if I would ever do it. It real for me. It really depends because, like, I'm not a huge medication person, anyways. I mean, I take some stuff just because my family history. It's more preventative than like I need to be on it sort of mm-hmm. situation. But I. I really try not to take a lot of medicines. Like, not that I'm anti-medicine, but you know, it's like I'm not just gonna take stuff if I can not have to take it. You know, <laughs> like you know, some people are like, oh, well, I could take this for whatever. You know, I'm anyone. Some people are like, if I can get the medicine, I'm gonna take it. And you're like, but why? <laughs> do you need it? Is it? Do you want it? Like, I okay. So it, it like you said, it definitely depends. If it was for. Like, I don't know. I guess if it was something I needed fixed already. to myself, yeah. Well, right. Like, for example, like the, the funny example said if they're going to give you it. But if you already had AIDS and they were like, we might be able to cure your AIDS, but it's very, there very, you, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 weird yeah. trial or, you know, you're already life threatening cancer. And they're like, do you want to come to the study? You might die from it, yeah. but you already got cancer and you're going to die anyway. So let's see if we can help. Yeah. Or like, if they were like, hey, look, uh, we think we might have discovered super dick pills. Super dick. Uh, we can turn your we can turn your dick into a B-52 fighter jet. Okay. I'm going to be like, uh, yeah, let's there you go, go ahead and do okay. that. Let, let's roll with that one for a second. What are you, what are so you trying to say? They say, say like completely, say like, say like you have... In your mind, you're like, I have a very average penis. Like, good size, good girth. No one's ever complained. Would I like it to be bigger? Sure. Like, whatever. And they're like, we have a trial. You'll either end up with super dick or it could fall off. No, see, then why are you testing it on humans? (laughs) <laughs> that's the thing like you can't give me this 50 50 coin flip because then it's a definite no all right it's, hey we've tested this on animals already we've already tested it on a couple homeless people that we're not going to talk about with the government and now we're ready to have our trials with people to come in and they'd be like all right yes right yes. right you know like sure you might get like a blood clot or something and that might that's suck that's very se- serious yeah. it, it is very serious and they're like but we don't think that's going to happen and we you know you've been tested right like they got to do a bunch of things before they can just start administering these trials so yeah if, I, if I they honestly, offering out super dicks or you know big dick be grow yeah pills i think i'd be more apt to do a sleep study more than anything else because they just watch you sleep and like do things like taking taking like taking medications that you don't know like what the side effects are uh-huh. it kind of freaks me out a little bit like in grand people you take i mean throughout my life i've been prescribed antibiotics and all sorts of stuff that mm-hmm. i'm sure i never delve deep enough into the into the side effect bag but if it's been approved normally those extreme side effects are like less than one percent chance you know it's like it could happen but whatever but if it's like we don't know like oh yeah there could be a 30 percent chance of stroke like do i want to go on a test and then be like maimed for life from a stroke like 
when I'm yeah. perfectly healthy, like, eh. But some people are so hard up on money, they don't care. Definitely always run that risk. Right, yeah. So when COVID first hit, and yeah. those they were those commercials started rolling out for them to test the COVID vaccine. Um, I actually did show some interest in that. Yeah, I actually like uh, I actually made a call. I was like, hell yeah, get that COVID vaccine to me. Right, right. right. Now. Yeah, well, I, I know Austin a had test or not. Austin had a thing. Yeah, Austin had a sign up for testing. Here. Yeah, I didn't care if it was a test or not. I I would have been pissed if I was like in the placebo group, obviously. But I was like, hell yeah, dude, get that experimental drug. <laughs> soon enough, it was soon enough, it was in everybody's arm anyway. Right, right. Which, well, not everybody. Oh yeah, the majority of yeah. us, sixty-five percent of us. Yeah, you still the you know we the silent majority. Yeah, right. But, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, so. I've always and, and, and like it's it's interesting because I'm I'm like that stuff's always weirded me out a little bit just because like th- you can have some real serious side effects from some of those drugs because you're the person who they're putting the sample size on of like how many people get a stroke, how many people have go blind, how many people like. Have a heart attack, you know, seizures, whatever. And I'm like, yo, I don't know. <laughs> like, if that's, right? is, is, is $7,000 worth like having like life threatening dysentery that you know? Like, it isn't even like roll the dice. Like, you know, it's coming. They're like, yeah. we are giving you dysentery. Uh, and, and see, life threatening is. A, be able to put a little extra sauce on it. Like, I'm sure they have like physicians and stuff there. Like, oh yeah, like they just don't give you dysentery and send you home and all that stuff. But it's still awful. Like any I mean, sort of yeah, disease like that it's sucks. Definitely awful. Oh my god, dude! Just yeah. I would hate even if they were like, we're gonna give you pneumonia, but we're gonna cure it. I'd be like, dude, pneumonia is awful. I've had it numerous yeah. times in my life. It yeah. sucks ass. <laughs> I mean, but they said they were gonna cure it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like I mean, I would feel best in that controlled environment because. They can keep you pumped in fluids and all. Yeah, and make give yeah. you. They have everything at your disposal. Best care you can get, supposedly. Yeah, and that, that's why they pump you full of all these things. Like, oh, you be helping out humanity. There are kids and countries. Look, I don't want it right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we do that? Can I not have it right now? I don't know, Jonas. I would definitely take it if it were something I needed or something that. If you be... already had the condition and like you were stuck with it anyway, I yeah. could see that. Yeah, like I'm telling you right now, Jonas. When they start offering up trials for Neuralink, dude, I'm signing up. Do it, yo. I'm what if it up. makes you a vegetable? Hey, you know, Jonas had a good run. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and then I guess. you get you get a little payday. Yeah, just know that because you, like, you, you, you get the piece. You're just laying there watching TV while your caretaker spends all your money. <laughs> You're getting the piece, Jonas. Hey, if you That's go on right. the Neuralink trial, can I be your beneficiary? Yo, I'll take care of you. I'll hire you the best nurse. I will hire you the best nurse, yeah. and I will I will take care of your money for you. All right, because I'm taking Elon for a whole Twitter if, he, <laughs> if I come out messed yeah, up. Yeah, exactly, except for when you sign away all the rights and they give you like 500 bucks and a steak and shake gift card. <laughs> Here, we'll give you a real nice milkshake, and we'll, buy you a, we'll pay your rent yeah. for half a month. Actually, on page three, it says all we owe you is a steak and shake gift card. <laughs> Good luck. Fi- quiz- they give you Quiznos gift cards. They just all closed. You're all like, <laughs> like, we'll give you $25,000 in Quiznos gift cards. Good luck <laughs> finding one. Yeah. Quiznos. Yeah, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Jonas is adverse to uh, taking money f- to be a t- as a guinea pig. And, um, yeah, I. It, but it, like, yeah, if it was a condition I already had, like, okay, like I have, like I have asthma. It's not very bad, but I've ha- I do have it. I've had it since I was a kid. I probably should get tested again to see if it's like gone away as I've grown older. But if I had really bad asthma and they were like, hey, we got this trial, we might be able to cure your asthma. Yeah. Like, dude, that would be nice. Like, if you're someone who has to walk around with an inhaler because you hyperventilate all the time and whatever, yeah. like, it's, it would. It's gotta, it's gotta be something you want. Right. Exactly. It would have to. Imp- getting it cured would have to improve your quality of life enough that if it went bad, you're like, well, I was already kind of in a shit place. Yeah. And see, the thing with like even trials like that, how many of them really go bad, bad? Honestly, I mean, you you're rolling you, the you die. Don't, you don't hear about that. You know? I mean, that's true. But you, you're rolling the die in your favor. Because yeah. if there was like an epidemic where even like if half of the pit, like uh, trials went bad, I feel like that would get out. Yeah, I, I feel yeah, like that right. would get but, out. But, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's an interesting thing because that's a very... It's like I feel like people who do trials are a very like niche clientele, mm. and I feel like a lot of them it's monetary based. 
because they're just so broke that they're like, if, if I get effed up, I'll get a payday and I'll live the rest of my life with a little bit of money because my life right now sucks. <laughs> you just think it's all depressed people going there? I mean, I could, I, dude, I would say if I didn't, if I was in a situation where I was broke as crap, my life sucked, I'm borderline homeless, I don't have anything going for me, and you're like, you can take this trial and like, we'll pay you up 10K to do it, and if something goes wrong, you get a payout of a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, or whatever. You know, it's it's, it's pre predetermined. You're like, well, if something goes wrong and I'm real messed up, I get like two hundred k. If I invest it right, I could live a meager life, and you know, and whatever. Maybe st- like, why? Why not? Like, if you're living under a bridge, how's that worse? I mean, I, I feel you. You know. So, anyways, easy, but, easy money to some. Yeah, for sure. But like people who like you have a great job and a family. You ain't doing that. You ain't no, risking no, your whole no, life, no, you know? No, no. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. For Jonas, TNT. Uh, we out.